All week we've heard agonising evidence from the firefighters who tackled the blaze at Grenfell Tower and today was no exception. One of the first on the scene that night was David Badillo. He described trying to rescue a 12-year-old girl, Jessica Urbano Ramirez, from the 20th floor. He never found her. He told the inquiry he has cried every day since. Firefighter David Badillo's story is one of heroism and heartbreak. I do solemnly, sincerely and truly. Today, he told the Grenfell Inquiry about the worst night of his life, about the people he was unable to save. This image shows David Badillo arriving at Grenfell Tower with the first crew to respond to the fire. It was then a young woman pleaded with him to rescue her little sister. I um, saw the distress on the lady's face and I just thought I'd get up there as quick as I can get the little girl down and then carry on with what I'm doing. The sister, 12-year-old Jessica Urbano Ramirez, was on the 20th floor. Firefighter Badillo made it a personal mission to save her. It's a little 12-year-old girl on her, on her own and, you know, just wanted to go and get her out. Yeah. Alone, he boarded a lift up the tower, only to be beaten back by thick smoke. Realising the fire was spreading fast, he put on breathing apparatus and climbed with two colleagues up the burning block. But Jessica wasn't in her smoke-filled flat. Her family continued their search, but her body would later be found on the 23rd floor. Firefighter Badillo says he cried every day after hearing that. The last question of a difficult week underlined the terrible dilemmas that face fire crews in such appalling circumstances. Having failed to find 12-year-old Jessica and with their air supply running out, firefighter Badillo and his colleagues were forced to pull back from the 20th floor. But before they did, he was asked, had they checked flat 175 next door? In tears, he replied, no. Um, to, the, to the family of the people in flat 175, uh, I was, I was um, looking for another girl. That's I didn't right. know there was anyone in there. That's, that's, that's all right. There are many people still grieving and suffering in the aftermath of the Grenfell fire. Some of them are in uniform. Paul Davis, News at 10.